I wanted to do a quick video today um, regarding this baby up here. This is a THD hot plate. Uh, it's an attenuator for you cats out there who haven't come across one yet. Um, probably the best one that I've tried, if I'm honest. I've tried quite a few. Chris King Robinson turned me on to these. Um, Jesse Davey uses them. Quite a few people use them, you know, uh, who, are, who are well regarded for their tongue within the trade. Um, the Super is on volume 9. Anybody who's got a Super Reverb will know that you don't get your Super to 9 too often unless you're attenuating it, um, which I am. So, usually at home, my volume on it will be free. Um, and that's loud, man. I mean, I'm going straight in here, but the minute you put pedals in front of it, obviously the pedals will boost the signal and that's louder again. So, uh, yeah, I'm straight in. It's on 9. I've got the bright switch on. Um, and we are at 12 dB attenuating. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try and go through a few of the settings until we get to amp tone at the end. Now, just to clarify, for me personally, it still does feel like there's a little blanket on top of the amp. Um, not so much as the other, other, other attenuators I've tried, and I don't wanna name any, um, but it does still feel like those highs don't punch out as much as they would, but for that little price, you do get natural amp saturation, which is like iconic tone. Um, so if you're into your Stevie Ray Vaughan and all that sort of thing, it's a good way of getting close at a bearable level. Again, this will go down to 16 dB, which then you can control over here, which you can really drive, but you know, take the volume even lower. I mean, we'll go into that in a minute. So just to clarify, that was 12 dB, Volume on 9, uh, on the amp, and that was our opening settings. I'm going to dial through a few, um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, what does this do? This attenuates. I'm not sure how it does it. It's called hot plate, it gets hot. <laughs> That's pretty much my knowledge on these things. Uh, uh, these things to do with this anyway. So you've got a bulb option, bulb on and off. Now I was trying to think if that LED altered the tone because on some fuzz pedals, different or on some pedals, LEDs will alter the tone. So I wondered if this worked in the same way. I don't think so. switch and we got a bright switch so um, they actually work really well the deep switch um, gives it more body uh, when, when you're attenuating uh, what, what they're known to do is kind of put an amp or uh, put a blanket over the top of your amp is kind of what the feeling that you get from them. this kind of takes a little bit of that blanket off but keep, remains the body remains deep you know nice so you got the deep switch on and off and the bright switch and the bright Sorry about that, my memory card had a spaz. So the bright switch is essential. Um, for me anyway, I like a bright sounding amp. It might sound pretty naff on its own, but in the mix, in the band mix, it sounds really good. Um, so the bright switch is good. So again, I'm just gonna hit a chord right now and just flick between the switches and see if you can pick up what it's actually doing, okay? <laughs> switch on the amp um, and when you attenuate again it kind of lifts more of that blanket off the amp sort of feel so I run it with the bright switch on on that because it's closer to a natural amp sound uh, deep so that's the deep there that's the body take it away a lot thinner sounding not thinner brighter thinner less body So, I run it with both of them on. Um, 
And yeah, that's kind of the, the, the basics on it. Um, you can also run it at load, which means you can run it silent and straight into a desk. I haven't done that yet. I'm sure I will get around to doing that, but that is something that's kind of cool if you want to do it into a studio. Sorry, my memory card again. Um, so yeah, that as I was saying, that's kind of cool if you're in a studio environment and you want to um, run it at load level. So I'll unplug it now and I'm going to show you it, show you what's going on, and then we'll run through the settings on the amp, okay? Okay, so this is the baby, this is your THD hot plate. As I was saying, your bright switch, your deep switch, uh, you've cho chosen a level of attenuation, all the way down to 16 dB or less 16 dB, right down to load. Now this one over here is when you're on 16 dB, that's a volume switch essentially. Uh, 16 dB really attenuates it and obviously you can control how quiet you can get it down to at max amp volume before you take it at load level. Um, on the back, we've got the input from amp. So a speaker cable goes in here, then that from there goes into your speaker input on the amp. Then where your speaker cable went into your amp comes out into there. And that's as simple as it is. This is your line out level. That's if you're running two sets of speakers and a line out plug in. It's kind of, there's no gimmicks to it. Obviously the magic it happens inside the box. It's quite weighty. Um, and that's how she looks. So yeah, let's get into uh, some settings. Okay, so I've took it to 16 dB uh, attenuation or less 16 dB. And I have got the volume maxed out on that 16 dB, okay? So I'll just hit a chord and show you how the, kind of the volume fluctuation we can get. Okay, it's kind of crazy, huh? Again, the amp, the super is on nine right now, close to 10. take it up all the way to the bridge or close to and I think that's pretty good I mean it, you know it's obviously not a crank damp and you can feel the air behind you but if you want to practice you want to practice late at night and you still want good tone, you can run it at 16 dB and it kind of feels like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're kicking them out. So we are going to take it down to 8 now, but as I, as I take away the attenuation, um, I'm obviously going to have to alter the amp because otherwise it's going to blow the, the cam mic, it's going to piss my neighbours off and um, it's going to hurt my ears. So that's 16. <laughs> 12. Big difference from the 16 to 12. 16. 12. 8. I'm going to have to alter the mic quickly as well because that's even getting even louder. So excuse me a minute. But yeah. That's maxing out the, de uh, the, the reading on the mic now. I can see it. 8. Back to 12. Okay, so I'm going to take the amp now down to 7. And we're going to go to 8 dB. So that's still loud. It's, I mean, that's still probably too loud to practice without pissing people off. But the tone is getting clearer. Okay, so I'm having technical issues again. Sorry about that. Um, I've just altered the, the, the cam mic as well to try and stop it from peeking out. So I've took the volume on the amp down to seven and we're attenuating it, attenuating at eight now. So obviously the less attenuation you're gonna do, the more true amp tone comes out, if that makes sense. So your brights will punch out a bit more. 
to the amp sound now, but attenuated, so more sort of, if you're playing out in a pub, in like a small venue, and you want to take your super out, and you want to get a great tone out of it, I'd attenuate about four, is where I'd go for, I mean that's one, we're only one away from zero de decibels, so you know, you're taking four dB off, which isn't too much, but it's enough not to, again, piss people off or kill people in the crowd, and the tone is on point. So uh, that's four, attenuated minus four, and we're on volume four on the amp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it down to three. Now this is the volume I play at when I'm at home. Um, and we're going to take the hot plate right down to zero dB. And that's your amp tone. I mean, you, uh, if you can reference the video prior, you can see the difference. Now, obviously the amp is a lot cleaner and clearer but there's no natural amp saturation. Um, so it's, 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 it's a great tool if you want to practice and, and have true amp saturation, sacrificing a little bit of tone. Um, I mean, I do use it. I don't use it as much as I did. When I first got it, I used it all the time. Um, I don't use it as much as I did, but if I've been arguing with the missus, it gets used a lot. Um, also, it's worth pointing out that um, your pedals will react completely different. So, running a fuzz pedal, you know, fuzz pedals are uh, meant to go into a dirty amp. Fuzz pedals are meant to go into a dirty amp. This helps you out. So I got a fuzz pedal not too long ago from a company, and um, it sounded pretty shitty if I'm honest. I gotta be honest, I wasn't blown away with it. I attenuated the amp, got the amp to break up naturally, bang, the, the fuzz come alive. So it has its pros, it does have its pros, but it also has its cons in terms of if you're a true tone purist, then this thing's not for you. So I'm gonna play out now, just pure amp. If you could hit like and subscribe, that would mean a great deal to me. 
Um, and post away in the comments. Let me know what else you want to do, what you want to look at. I've got some, I've got some pretty good gear lying around. I'm going to do an in-depth review of the Fraser guitar. Um, these are UK based guitar, based luthier who's making these at the minute. I mean, I, I haven't put mine down since I got it. I, I really, really like it. I'm going to do a review on that. I've got lots of other things to be looking at on the pedal boards. Again, if you guys comment, if there's any licks you want to learn, or any way there's anything at all that I can give you that you want, then let me know in the comments below. Um, and hit the subscribe and like, and that would mean a great deal to me, and it keeps the fire burning inside. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope you got something out of this video. Cheers.